All right, all right, what is going on, guys? Today, we're going to be taking a look at some more Football Manager 2021 features. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as I do make a lot of Football Manager content on my channel. But first and foremost, big shout out to the Football Manager official channel and also Spencer Owen, who's going to be bringing us this. But also, I'm just going to try and get to the hard-hitting information. This video is about five minutes long. I don't want to try and make it too long. Uh, nothing too crazy. So uh, yeah, let's just get into the hard hitting features. So all right, this is the first FM21 gameplay screen, screen of the menus and all that. Uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. There's a lot to take in. This is a bit of a team talk and I will mix it like this. So we get a bit of an explanation from Spencer as yeah, he is logical you know, he's been given the information from Football Manager Sports Interactive. So I'll let that play now and see what he has to say. What you say and how you say it has been completely changed. Not only have press conferences and conversation systems been completely redesigned, but so is the way you speak. This is now far more human and more real than ever before. So as you can see, it really has been reworked. Look at, look at these things you can choose to do. Throw water bottle, point finger... Outstretch arms, that's like a hug or something like that. Yeah, so these are the same kind of responses, but how you can, how you go about it, that's kind of, you know how you would say like something assertively or passionately? There's like more action. <laughs> I like that. So yeah, just let it go a bit more. It's been completely redesigned, but so is the way you speak. Yeah, just back on that again. You can smile warmly. It's just, I find it so much more interactive like this how you're talking to your players, it just shows, shows in a lot more detail. And even the press conference, this is press conference right there. You can see, yeah, all the different media uh, personnel talking to you. It, you're just engrossed more in that press conference. For me, press conference got really, really boring. A lot of the time, I just sent my assistant to them. And yeah, this might give you just a little bit extra to get engrossed in the press conferences for Football Manager 21. Okay. Let's go on to this one from what we can initially see. I like how the manager's name is literally that, <laughs> the manager. Uh, too good. So you have some quick chats here. Once more, pretty detailed. You open your arms widely towards Summer, which appeared to improve his body language. That's cool. That just, But that one is a bit funny to me. Uh, can you picture a manager opening his arms widely to a player like that? <laughs> Maybe it depends on their personality. There you go. That represent sure informal conversations, which is kind of like grabbing a player just for a one or two minute conversation. And yeah, there's just some more details as well, just what you can individually say. I'll pause some of these parts because they go really quickly, just so you guys can take them in. Topic. They also cover remote conversations with people who Ooh. aren't at the club, so like players who are out on loan, uh, that's nice. Managers, journalists, for example. Here you go. Basically, guys, these are greetings. This is okay. This is basically the new feature one well one of the new features what it's replacing these gest gestures and these are what they are in fm21 greeting uh, but if you're unhappy with a question from the media you may choose to be folding your arms <laughs> you can use gestures to i do that people on what you're saying but they will also shape your personality and how your players and the media view you so now we're on to the next set of features, and this one's going to be all around match day. So, yeah, let's see how this is going to be involved. You can see use tighter marking here. This will be uh, very heavy on advice. So let's take a look. And your backroom staff who are there for you with all the info and advice you need to dominate straight from kickoff. Tactical insight, team sheets, and... Op all right, all right. Yeah, we always, we always love a new screen there. So, yeah, you got to press officer social roundup. All right. Oh, they're like basically those what are called tweets in the game or, yeah, what they would be. You can... You, you, all right, you get some highlighted. But, guys, I I didn't like how it's been where there's a positive and a neutral and a negative. It just seemed too scripted. Like, some things that happen that could only bring a positive thing. Like, a player could have an amazing game. And someone said it wasn't that good, but it was like one of the best games you'll see, get a hat-trick. Like, you can't logically see there's a reason to say he played bad, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, I reckon it can't be as scripted as that. But the, the team sheets look clean. And just think about it, you know how people make skins and stuff? I always download skins. 
I reckon it could make them even like yeah, they can ha enhance that even more. So I'm I'm really excited for how the games are going to appear this year. To be honest, let's go. Position reports contain both existing and brand new data analysis okay. and to give you the ability to fine tune your tactics ahead of kickoff. The match UI itself has been completely remodeled. Oh, remodeled again. Uh, how much more of this gameplay are we going to see though? Is it going to be a lot? And let's modernized. see. Your screen is now dominated by the action. Uh, giving you the full view of the game, allowing you to appreciate a host of graphical improvements, including improved player models, an improved animation system, and improved lighting. Sports Interactive okay. will be released yeah, I saw this one before. more feature details prior to early access, which is normally available roughly two weeks prior to the game's official release date. Details on getting early access are available in the description. So guys, I do make videos and all that on it. I like to be very critical or just give my honest feedback more so. The ga do you think the gameplay, like, maybe we've got to see more, but it, it looks same old. It looks same old to me. Get up in the comments what you think. Uh, it, it looks a bit fresher, like, you know, how you see the subs at the bottom and all that. But the literal gameplay, the 3D gameplay, it just feels the same. Like, I, I, I'm yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm going to have to roll that back again. Try and, you know, get something that we missed. But really, it looks like I have FM20 loaded up here. Where are we? And modernized. Your screen Where is are we? Dominated by the action. Giving you the yeah, like, a, a player missed or hit it at the goalkeeper with a one-on-one -on -one chance. This looks like FM20 gameplay to me. <laughs> Full view of the game. Oh, gosh. You to appreciate a host of graphical improvements, okay. including improved player models, an improved mm. animation system, and improved lighting. Sports Interactive will be releasing plenty more features. He scored that. That was a nice... Accent. So there's a difference. You don't see like a little chip over the keeper like that. So, hey, I don't see that too often anyway. Okay, now, see, this is how it's going to look post-match. When your game is done, you're going to get a lot of a review, and obviously these are things you can change yourself, you know, as I said, with skins and all that, how people set it up. Uh, you can adjust maybe things you want to look at. But how this is set up, it looks like for these specific things, to be honest. Uh, so maybe you can't change it. As I said, by default anyway, in the default game, there doesn't seem that little, yeah, drop down for that little arrow. So it, it's a nice setup like this. I, I don't mind it. It gives you the complete story of the game, including reaction from the press and social media, as well as a suite of statistical information, including... Oh, take a look at the new, yeah, an XG match story. That's cool. I got to take a look at more of this and I remember years ago they announced, you know, it's no longer in the game. It was an older game. It could have been like championship manager as well. There was like this, yeah, very heavy st uh, statistical feature. I can't even remember what it was called now, but yeah, and it, it looked pretty detailed. It, I know, it reminds me of that. Sports Interactive's own expected goals system which makes an exciting debut in conjunction with the team at Sire Sports. You'll now be able to see just how... All right, yeah, a bit more details. At least we're seeing, guys. Uh, at least we're seeing a lot of images. Um, You know, the second X... Oh, is that like the under-23s, basically? Uh, they've just re renamed it differently. Okay. But you see the details. With the see, I'm going to have to see... How what are we going to read out of the XG? What information is that actually going to give us? I have to look more into that. Clinical, your players were or weren't in front of goal. A real favourite area of the game, certainly one of mine, is of course squad building. And that's another key area that Sports Interactive have expanded this season, bringing you closer to the scouting and data team to help you secure your top targets. To do this, FM21 introduces a new staff role, new meetings and new interactions, all within a fresh and true-to-life transfer landscape. You can now power your scouting and set your transfer intentions with brand new recruitment meetings. Before the what we're on to next is going to be focused on recruitment. So here you can see we've got a meeting, a lot of players there. If you see one of them, like Daniel Caligiuri's contract is expiring, so it'll be prudent to look for alternatives. It's really based around building your squad. You get your like, staff meeting. You've got a managing director there as well. Peter Peters, what a name, Peter Peters. Let's see more details, though. Let's see how it's explained. At the start of every window, you're invited to a meeting with your club's top decision makers. Here, you'll take advice from staff on positions you need to strengthen while also giving your own thoughts and setting new assignments for your scouts. All right, so there we are. Scouts will look for players who can perform well at our level. Okay, goalkeepers, well-rounded, outfield players, technical. So you can set for those individual things. Yeah, what you'll be looking for. These meetings prompt you to okay. continuously think about your next move and your long-term strategy. 
Yeah, so this is how it's set on the screen as a whole here. So you can click on, yeah, you can look for a central midfielder. Oh, you can, I like this. Set your specific details for even one specific position. Like, yeah, players who can perform well at our levels. So central midfielder is good for the first team, essentially. Outfield players, intelligence, some smart players, some good mentally, uh, some good mental players, uh, good mental attributes. And then analysts will look for players in our recruitment package with notable stats. Keep it just this seems really, really detailed. And at the bottom says, yeah, prior prioritize. Yeah, you prioritize over the next couple of weeks or keep a close watch. Don't make it a priority. So you can really control what is, yeah, those priorities for you, like what you want. Like there could be a signing you feel you really, really need. You need to get done. If it's that central midfielder, that's what you need to round up your squad. You're going to click yes. But if there's something else you're, you know, focusing a lot more. Say if you need a defender and you, you're not really happy with your with your backs, with, with your center backs, you're going to prioritize that. Just, just a little example we're giving there. Whether you need players immediately or looking at the long term, you'll get help and advice from your backroom staff. But of course, you're the manager, so you can choose to go with that advice or take a different path. Final area of focus for now is going to be the end of season experience. FM21 is going to let you relive the highs and lows of your success like never before. Success doesn't just mean winning trophies, of course. It could be narrowly avoiding relegation or achieving promotion via the playoffs. So now we're going to be looking at the end of season. The end of season is going to have a bit more details. <laughs> Take a look at some staff there as well, celebrating... Okay, let's see. Let's see more of this. Operations look better on the pitch with improved title presentations. We're talking trophy lifts. We're talking podiums. It's just me We're or some of the players are bored. People. But post-match, <laughs> there'll be more media attention and hype too. At the end of each campaign, you'll also get a brand new season review presentation. Which All right, so that's what the season review is going to look like. We'll take you through cool. the highlights on and off the pitch. Listen, you've worked hard for your success, so you should enjoy it, no matter how big or yeah, small. Yeah, so you get a bit of a review here, which is nice. achievements. You know, don't need to pause this too much of that. Is Pretty standard. A long series of features drops across the FM socials. So if you want to okay. more detailed look at some yeah, that's going to be it for this coming. video. Uh, basically, yeah, what they're going to go on about here or Spencer. Yeah, massive shout out to him. Is just all right. One. Then yeah. Check out at Football Manager on Twitter. Just make sure you follow. Monday, October nineteenth. There you go. Monday, October nineteenth. The date you got to look out for. Personally, I'm particularly looking forward to finding out about. Yep. Look at that. Ask agent about availability, which was a new feature. I want to know. See, I wanted to know the details of this thing. We saw this in the trailer, but, you know, what what exactly? You ask the agent, like, is that like a make inquiry or is that going to cover players' wage? Like, when you make an inquiry, it's to the club how much they want, like, for transfer. But ask agent about availability, maybe... Or even if, or maybe if the player is considering a transfer or not, and maybe how much money they would want. Yeah, just all the details. No ways that you can interact with agents. So that's it for now. Okay. Just some of the headline areas. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, we'll just head over to the bottom there. I didn't want to have Spencer too much playing in my own video here. You know, it just feels a bit weird. But sometimes he would have had to explain some important things. Massive shout out to him though. And Football Manager, Sports Interactive. Of course, you can get it for 10% off right now. Uh, release date is on 24th of November. And if you do pre-order, you'll get it two weeks early. You'll get access to the beta, which is pretty cool. I do make a lot of videos myself. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe for the latest Football Manager 2021 content.